Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're exploring an exciting topic in structural engineering, innovations in tension and compression structures. These elements are crucial in our designs, influencing everything from bridges to skyscrapers. Let's dive into the latest advancements shaping these foundational concepts. 1. Understanding tension and compression structures. First, let's clarify what we mean by tension and compression structures. Tension structures are built to withstand pulling forces, like cables and fabric structures, such as tents. Compression structures resist pushing forces, with examples including columns and arches. Both types play vital roles in creating stable and efficient designs, and recent technology has enhanced their application. 2. Innovations in Tension Structures Now, let's look at innovations in tension structures. 1. High-Performance Fabrics New synthetic fibers provide greater strength-to-weight ratios, enabling larger, safer tension structures like tensile roofs. 2. Dynamic Tension Systems Innovations in dynamic tension systems allow for automatic adjustments based on environmental changes, improving stability in varying conditions. 3. Innovations in compression structures Next, we have compression structures. 1. Advanced Concrete Technologies Ultra High Performance Concrete, UHPC, offers exceptional compressive strength, allowing for slimmer, more ambitious designs. 2. 3D Printing 3D printing technology enables the creation of complex compression structures that optimize material use and allow for rapid on-site construction. 4. Integrating Tension and Compression Combining tension and compression elements is leading to innovative hybrid designs. 1. Cable Stayed Bridges These structures use tension cables to support the bridge deck, while compression towers provide stability, resulting in lightweight, aesthetically pleasing designs. In conclusion, innovations in tension and compression structures are transforming design and construction. From advanced materials to 3D printing, these advancements enhance the efficiency and safety of our built environment. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this discussion insightful, please like, share, and subscribe for more on structural engineering innovations. Let's explore the future of architecture and engineering together. In the world of engineering, bridges have always symbolized the connection between two points, overcoming physical barriers with elegance and precision. But today, engineers are pushing the boundaries even further. Modern bridge designs are redefining what's possible, blending sustainability, innovation, and structural efficiency. 1. A shift toward sustainability. Bridges are no longer just about connecting roads. They're also about connecting people to a sustainable future. Engineers are designing with eco-friendly materials and practices to reduce carbon footprints. For example, we're seeing the rise of bridges constructed from recycled materials like plastic waste, which reduce the environmental impact. The use of modular construction, where sections are built off-site and assembled on-site, not only speeds up the process but also minimizes waste and emissions during construction. 2. Innovation in Structural Design Engineers are also experimenting with new shapes and forms. Traditional bridge designs like suspension and arch bridges are still relevant, but now we're seeing incredible geometric innovations. Think of bridges with lightweight, yet incredibly strong, materials such as carbon fiber composites. These materials allow for thinner, sleeker designs without compromising safety or durability. Some futuristic designs include self-healing concrete, a material that can repair cracks on its own, extending the lifespan of bridges while reducing the need for frequent maintenance. This not only saves money, but also increases the safety of the infrastructure. 3. Smart Bridges – The Future of Connectivity Perhaps the most groundbreaking development is the rise of smart bridges. Imagine a bridge that can monitor its own health in real time. Sensors embedded in the structure can detect stress, strain, temperature, and even potential weaknesses before they become critical. This data is transmitted to engineers who can analyze it and make real-time decisions on maintenance. Smart technology also helps in predicting how a bridge will behave under certain conditions, like heavy traffic or extreme weather. These insights make it possible to ensure the safety and longevity of bridges, 
all while minimizing disruptions to daily life. 4. Aesthetic and Functional Synergy It's not just about functionality. Modern bridge designs are fusing aesthetics with practicality. Many bridges today are works of art, designed to be both functional and beautiful. Think of the Millau Viaduct in France or the Zhangjiajie Glass Bridge in China. These bridges attract tourists and blend harmoniously with their surroundings, showcasing that a bridge can be more than just infrastructure. It can be a landmark. As the world demands more resilient, eco-friendly, and smarter infrastructure, engineers are responding with creative solutions that challenge traditional boundaries. From sustainable materials to smart technology, the bridges of tomorrow are being built today. They don't just connect us physically, they represent the future of engineering innovation. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more insights into the ever evolving world of structural engineering. How do engineers optimize load bearing structures? Welcome to Blueprint to Reality. Today, we'll explore one of the core concepts of structural engineering, optimizing load bearing structures. How do engineers ensure buildings stand tall, bridges stretch far, and towers reach for the sky without collapsing under their own weight. Let's dive into the fascinating process behind making structures both strong and efficient. What is load-bearing? First, what exactly does it mean for a structure to be load-bearing? At its most basic, it's any part of a building or a structure that supports weight, or in engineering terms, loads. This includes walls, columns, beams, and floors. These components don't just carry their own weight. They distribute external forces like gravity, wind, earthquakes, and even people walking on a floor. If a load-bearing element fails, the whole structure could be at risk. This is why engineers spend significant time calculating how to manage these loads effectively. The Key Principles of Load Optimization Engineers optimize load-bearing structures through several fundamental principles. 1. Material Selection Different materials have varying strengths. Steel, concrete, wood, all have unique properties. Engineers choose materials that balance strength, cost, and durability. For example, steel is strong but expensive, while concrete is more cost-effective and excellent in compression. 2. Efficient shapes. Geometry plays a key role. Triangles and arches are often used because they distribute loads more efficiently than squares or rectangles. That's why you see triangular trusses in roofs and arched bridges. They're strong and require fewer materials. 3. Load distribution. Engineers design structures so that loads are evenly spread across multiple components. Instead of a single beam bearing all the weight, that load is shared across several beams or columns. Think of it as teamwork for materials. No single part bears the entire burden. 4. Redundancy. This means creating alternate load paths. If one part fails, another part can still handle the load. This prevents catastrophic collapses, making structures more resilient in emergencies. Examples of optimized structures. Take the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. Engineers used a system called the buttressed core, a Y-shaped design that evenly distributes the weight of the tower, reducing the load on any one point. This allows it to soar to 828 meters while still being stable. Or consider suspension bridges like the Golden Gate Bridge. The cables distribute the bridge's load, allowing it to span incredible distances while staying light and flexible. These examples show that optimization isn't just about using strong materials, it's about using them intelligently. In conclusion, optimizing load-bearing structures is a delicate dance between physics, materials, and design. Engineers must balance all these factors to ensure that buildings are both strong and cost-effective. The next time you walk into a skyscraper or drive over a bridge, remember, it's not just a structure, it's a carefully crafted solution designed to bear the loads of our world. Thanks for joining us on Blueprint to Reality. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more engineering insights.